9:30. They're our friends from the library. They're out of mine. But you, uh, if you order something, 50% off. Just make sure they know you're you're coming on. All right. See you in a bit. Checking one, two. How's the sound out there if you're listening in Radio Land? Test one, two, three, four. This is Beach Talk Radio. Good morning, Mr. and Mrs. America, and all ships at sea. This is your captain speaking, Mean Gene. Mean Gene. The following will be a test of the ship's whistle, the sonar alarm, the cable alarm, and the atomic attack alarm. Live from Peach Time Out in the heart of Times Square, you're listening to Beach Talk Radio with Kim and Ed Ryan. And a good morning, everybody, and welcome to episode number 220. We're five episodes away from one quarter of a thousand episodes. Can you imagine when we hit number 1,000, what a party that's going to be? Do that math again. One quarter of 1,000. How much? It's 225. 500. Yeah, that's right. 225 is one quarter of 1,000. What's wrong with you? How dare you question my math? We are broadcasting live from Drexylvania, okay, uh, otherwise folks, known as help me out here. Times Square. Am I wrong? It's one quarter of 1,000. It's 250. Exactly. That's what I said. 250. Yeah. Two, we're five episodes away. 220 and 5 is 225. 225 is 1 quarter. It's not quarter. 250. Wait. Uh, well, you know what I meant. What the hell? <laughs> Wait. 225. Yeah. We're, two, we're, we're getting close. <laughs> Wait. We need to start over. Let me rewind this dog. All right, everybody. <laughs> That I didn't even that practice. Was a bell ringer. I didn't even practice that. It just came out. It just, that it just is came out off the cuff. Number one bell ringer. Wow. <laughs> Look at your dad's like, uh, dumbass got the math wrong. All right, everybody. Before we wow. get to our first uh, topic and our guests this morning, of course, we always like to thank our uh, our great sponsors and those of you out there that support us, including Sun Palace Vacations, Fort Myers. Uh, Beach Realty, Fort Myers Tiki Tours, Nervous Nellie's, Mangarita, <sighs> State Insurance USA, La Ola Restaurant, Coastal Vacation <laughs> Properties, Tuckaway Cafe, which will soon have, uh, which will soon have draft beer, or not draft beer, craft beer. I guess craft beer is draft beer, right? Does craft Just, beer draft beer, or is it? Yeah, it's got to yeah. be draft beer, right? Can't can't well, be bottled could, beer. Could it be it bottled could beer? Be. They could bottle it. I wonder they if they have. They can. probably have about two hundred and twenty-five cans yeah. of bottled beer yeah. on the wall there. A quarter of a thousand. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, who else? Beach Pottery, Shuckers, uh, Beach uh, Island Carts FMB, JPS Vacation Rentals, and Beach Time Out. Uh, of course, I wanted to save uh, the Beach Baptist Farmer's Market for last because Tuesday is their final day. So please stop on down to the Farmer's Market at the Beach Baptist. And then they'll be back in October. Uh, so Tuesday will be their last day. They're well, a quarter of a way there. <laughs> <laughs> the 225 days to the way there because you know 225 days is one quarter of a year i bet mm -hmm. you didn't know that put that in your math pipe and mm -hmm. smoke it uh we had quite the start to a day today uh so usually we leave the house when i'm too fat and lazy to get up to go to the gym we leave the house in gateway at 6 30 so we can get here by 6 59 so we can wait in line to get in to park here in Lynn Hall Park where it's only two dollars an hour uh, and get a get a primo spot but we got in the uh the truck at 6 30 and all we heard was yeah and automatic panic mode because nah, you know we we've just, got we just six boxes and a big giant uh box and more boxes and so did the quick transfer into the car and uh, here we are we were Oh, wait a second. On the I way was down, worried about yeah. my car. So too. she always drives her car and leaves it on E. So no. the, the tank was on E. Uh, the le lights, red lights, orange lights are flashing. And she's like, OK, we're going to have to stop for get gas. Uh, we need to go to this gas station, which is right off 41 because it's an easy on and easy off. So I said, OK, well, we, we got to get there by seven o'clock because we've got to get a primo spot. So I'm going to time you. I'm going to time. It'll be like a NASCAR pit stop. You make it fast yeah, and I'll time you and I'll yell out the up. window. 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. So it's 50 seconds and she gets back in the car. She's like, it didn't work. It didn't work. It, like it, so it didn't work. Wait, you were out there for 50 seconds. I thought you set a, a brand new record for, for uh, gas pumping and and there's no gas. Now we still have no gas and you're throwing the card at me. And somehow it's my fault that you couldn't so figure out how to angry. make no, how you, how is it know. my fault that I you put the card in? I entered the thing and it just would not. The pump would not get going. It was your card. Maybe your card got. No, my time. card works fine. <gasps> yeah. So so instead of back it was now what it was your card and you and put in I your put in four pin. digits. Oh, dumb Marina. That's why I apologize to the pump. What about me? How about apologizing to me? It was my fault. You. you you blamed it on me that it was my fault. I was driving. By all rights, you should have gotten out and pumped the gas. First of all, why do you let your car go down to orange E? Because why do you do that? When I went to get gas last night, there was a huge line and two of the pumps were like out of gas. So I said, I'll just do it in the morning. Mm -hmm. All right. I so your I accept your apology. Would, uh, By the way, uh, earlier in the morning, if you didn't see, we did a Margaritaville video update. Well, Love did. seeing the building uh, grow, grow up and grow higher. It's growing up, but not old people. Just so you know that uh -huh. Jimmy Buffett uh, metaphor there. And uh, and then we went on the beach side and a metaphor you have analogy. to check out the end of the video. Of course, seeing the building grow up is fabulous. and We love it. But also the end of the video is hilarious because as I'm turning around, the world champion sprinters coming by me and I catch her on video. Now, she was at least a mile and a half ahead of me. Oh, please. and I got out into the sand with the camera and I just start sprinting like Carl Lewis. And I am sprinting and I'm sprinting and I caught you at Times Square. And I think you flipped me the bird at Times Square or something. Not. You were so angry. I was so just angry. trying to maintain my footing. You were angry that I caught up to you and that I was so fast. I didn't even see you coming. I see. So we're getting ready for our triathlon next Sunday in Naples. It's a reverse triathlon. Yeah. And we're going with the Adderhold family. Mm -hmm. The Adderhold. If the weather, if the seas are like they are today, next week, that's going to be a little. Oh, you're a little, a little afraid of the water? There. Don't be no, afraid no, of the no. water. This choppiness I could do, but yeah. a couple of weeks ago, no. And the Adderholds have uh, shark repellent uh, bracelets or yep. something because they're Ankle afraid things. of sharks, sissies. They're such sissies. No, that's hey. What? If the you technology just... is out there, use it. Yeah. Uh, and the last thing before we get to our guests from the library, and we are going to talk about the big hickory thingamajigger out there with Lauren Swain. What's it called? The big hickory something big or hickory other? Big hickory island? Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're going to talk to her at 930-ish. But we did want to get you up to date on the incident here uh, in Times Square. You saw there were some pictures with some tape. 
Uh, we got an update from uh, Lee County Sheriff's this morning. Thank you very much to Anita at the Lee County Sheriff's Office for getting back to us right away. There was and a sheriff's deputy over there. Walking yeah, right by yeah, today, yeah. yeah. Uh, keeping everything safe down here on this Memorial Day weekend. Uh, it turns out it was two homeless people that got into a fight. And somehow uh, it, it wound up over on the Plaka side and nobody pressed charges or anything. But here we are. No community policing. Two homeless people getting aggressive in Times Square. Just remember in November, everybody, who voted against community policing and what three candidates are in favor of community policing. Just remember that when you go to the polls to pull your trigger or pull your jigamarigger. What's it called? You don't pull the you fill in your ballot on uh, on uh, election day in November, which is five months away. Cast so remember that any of the three candidates, the three new candidates are all in favor of community policing. All right, enough about uh, all that uh, politics stuff. Our first guests today are from the Fort Myers Beach Public Library, Man. which is like a castle uh, that they have uh, down here on a sterile boulevard. We're gonna talk to, oh, as you can hear, we're going to wow. talk to Nan's dog, Gus. Gus was ready he's to go. Talking, he's talking to us. Gus, Gus Kathy is, is with us. us. Gus is coming on. And Nan Williams, our friend Nan. We haven't seen her since, uh, I think, was the Lover's Key event. Right, Nan? That was the last time we saw you. It was Move over so they can pull Nan, the... Nan, use your microphone. You know yeah. the drill. I'm sorry. There you sorry. go. Move over so they can pull the puppy out of the... <laughs> All right. Over. I can't move over. If I move over, I'll be out of the camera. I know, but Gus is... I don't want Gus yeah. to get All right. So, on. Kathy, thank you for coming back. How are oh, you? Thank you for having me back. Yes. Uh, what's going on in your life? Um, <laughs> nothing much. Getting ready for summer. Summer uh, is kind of quieted down at the library, but I'm here to talk about some very important programs that we have going on this summer in the library. Let's hear it. What do you got? Uh, we're running two summer reading programs. Um, the first one that I want to talk about is... Um, is kind of you've heard the rhyme ice cream you scream we all well, scream, scream for ice cream. cream well we're changing that around it's i read you, you read. read we all read for ice cream oh and thanks to the generosity of jeff with the uh royal scoop nice um he's given us a donation of um many um oh sorry many um gift cards to the royal scoop and so now, before you move on, the Royal Scoop is next to the Tuff, Tuck Away Cafe, right? Correct. Right. We've been trying to get Jeff. Jeff and I have been playing phone tag, trying to get him to come down and, and bring some free ice cream or be on yeah, the show right. or whatever. And yeah. I understand. I, free ice cream. Um, he has Jeez, a new a venture ice cream. that he's exploring. Uh, What's a foot, that? A foot shop. I think. Oh, I didn't I'm know that. I'm not sure if it's going to be a here. Yeah, I'm not sure shop. if it's going to be oh. here on the beach or if is it's That's breaking the news right there. Breaking oh, news. I don't know. Um, you kind of... <laughs> Kathy, who doesn't love fudge? Corporate secrets. <laughs> yeah. Jeff, we need to talk after the show. Yeah. <laughs> fudge. Fudge. There so, we go. So the kids are going to get free ice cream if they read what? Exactly. Um, we're asking kids, uh, I guess the last day of school here in Lee County is Thursday. And so starting on um, the next week, we have this summer ice cream reading challenge going. Just um, for them. Yeah, very cool. Whoop. So it's an ice cream cone it's with ice... like a bingo dauber right. kind of thing. And so it's encouraging kids to come into the library, um, check out books, and read books. So there's 17 little daubs mm -hmm. on, your, on your ice cream. And it's a nine-week program. It officially starts uh, June 6th and runs to August 5th. And every time you come into the library to check out a book, our circulation uh, clerks will stamp for each for each. Book. I'll hold this. You can okay. close. There you go. For each book that you check out, which means for nine weeks, if you come in every week, you need to check out and read approximately two books. Yeah. Please Hello. don't. Please don't ask him to do the math on it. Do you know what a quarter? What is one quarter of? Never mind. No. What, how long do the books no. have to be? Um, the book should be at their um, reading level. Yeah. 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 And there's something called accelerated reading. Okay. And every child that's in Lee County knows what their AR level is. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're encouraging kids to read at 
um, their AR level uh, throughout the summer and check out those. So levels. they're not reading James Patterson books or no. anything like that. No, I well, love some older kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's my favorite. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And let me talk about um, our second. You can program. talk about whatever you want, Kathy. Our second program that we have. Running. But you need to talk into the Let microphone. Let me just ask. So the AR, the books in the library also have that designation? Yes. Okay. On okay. our card catalog, um, every book that is in the library is listed in that catalog. And the AR level, level is, is on listed there. Okay, on so there. How many books, super easy. How many books are in the library? Oh, geez. I couldn't More count them all. <laughs> Say that again. More now. than three. Yeah. Right. Would right. you guys like to hazard a guess as to what his AR level is? Oh, we can't go that low, can we? Oh, <laughs> oh I don't know. God. Oh. Kindergarten goes from 0. 0.1 to 0. 0.9. There you go. He's that'll somewhere be the in last there. time I ever buy. <laughs> that'll be the last time I ever buy you a drink, man. Wow. <laughs> Oopsie. Well, if, I had, if I had feelings, that would have hurt. Exactly. So what were we talking about? Um, let me talk about another program. Well, that, Kathy, um, who is your who is your favorite author? Steinbeck, I think. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Mary Steinbeck? Uh, no. No, Josh. John. 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 Yeah. What about uh, an Nan? Do uh, you read at all? I do. I'm, yeah. I'm a big Patterson. Yeah. Reader oh, okay. and Baldacci and. Oh, I see. Yeah. Yes. Yes. What about Vince Flynn? Not done one of those. I'll well, he's dead. He's out. dead now. So, uh, but his <laughs> Mitch, Mitch Rapp's book, <laughs> Mitch Rapp books were the best. CIA kind of, yeah, yeah, go out and kill the the terrorists. And then, of course, thing. there's always a beautiful woman, and there somehow or another. No, no. no. oh yeah, in yeah. the book, yeah, in yeah, the book, yeah, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. Not, not me, right? Oh, for oh sure. I'm not gonna say anything. That <laughs> and was, my I, favorite children's yes. book is by Eric Carle. Uh, he writes Who's, a lot of the books that I share with kids every Wednesday at the library mm -hmm. at 10.30. Nice I do a, segue. I do a story hour. Nice. And um, that kind of goes along with my next program, which well, is a- Well, before you get to that, sure. I, oh, I, I need to talk about- I know. a well, segue, and then there, you have this to is, mess it up. So my favorite kids author is uh, Dr. Seuss. Like yep. Green Eggs and Ham is, yep. is, it takes her two days to read that book, oh, but uh, that one and Clifford the Big Red Dog. I mean, are, right. are you are you, uh, are you allowed to say red dog anymore? Are they change the colors of the dog, or is it okay? It's still red. It's okay. Dog. So you're okay. All right. Yep. Both Good. of those uh, books, the Dr. Seuss yeah. books, we usually share uh, in March, which um, is his commemorates birthday, right? his birthday. And mm -hmm. uh, Clifford. How did you know that? <laughs> wow. Because sometimes I'm, she shocks me with a little bit of. Above yours. <laughs> So some some one of the kids could probably hammer out nine or ten Dr. Seuss books and and grab sure. an ice cream cone at the end of the day there. there you call go. it a call it a day. Yeah. So go. call it a summer. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean I didn't mean for her to interrupt you. What what, yeah. uh, what were you, what were you saying? Well, Kathy? Um, every Wednesday uh, at 1030 at the library, I do a story hour for kids and I'm kicking it off this Wednesday by um, reading three stories about different things that come out of eggs. Okay. And I will be giving come out, out of what? my eggs. 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 I will be giving out my ice cream cone sheets. There and for every story that I read, which I think I'll be reading about three of them, uh, kids that listen um, get a stamp. Because nice. it's not just about reading. It's for younger kids as to be well. Read too. To yes. be read too. Mm -hmm. So even though you can't read, if your parents check out books right. and read them to you that you will get, get credit the, yes. for she get only 50 of that no credit, no, right? no 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 nope. um no nope, because little 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 kids oh, could, could do that so right. kim could read to ed there you go and yeah. ed would get and all the credit get some stamps See? on your ice cream, get an ice cream cone. you know you do go. you ever do like i, want I know fudge, not ice cream okay. <laughs> we'll do you work ever on the fudge guest readers i have maybe like like people in the town, that would be a cool thing for them to volunteer oh, yeah. yes. and yes. like guest read. And, and during the summer, sometimes I take a summer vacation and go up to Maryland and visit people my family. But in. I always I'd love find to a fill substitute. In. The kids you. would love to oh, have me read today. Right. I, not you. You'll have to practice. Though. Like people um, practice what? Reading. Reading. Yeah. Reading. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. you did. So you really know how to read the book that we pick out. Oh, I sound see. out all the letters. <laughs> Man, oh, I've never had I somebody just, insult me in a half hour three back. times so far. I just can sit back. Wow. I roll. feel like I'm at home. But Gus comes to my story yes. time and he cuddles up to me. And All right, everybody. Got to see stories. Gus. 
He there is adorable. Is Gus. Big round of applause for Gus, yes. everybody. He is a royal dog. He is. Now, what is? Do you Gu- want to say anything, Gus? Okay. Thank you so much. Licking the much, microphone. How there. much do you make a year, Gus? <laughs> Not enough. How many push-ups can you do, Gus? <gasps> no. Somebody was doing push-ups on the beach this morning. Were by you the checking way. them out, or no, you were a liar? <laughs> so, Kathy, what's the story behind Gus or uh, Nan? Gus is our literary dog, and I'll let Nan kind of talk about um, all the wonderful things that Gus does at the library and other places now. So Gus is a therapy dog. He's not a service dog. There's a big difference. So his job is basically to love Mm -hmm. on on everybody and everything. That's my job, too. Yeah. (laughs) Kim rubs my back when we're at home. You kind of have dog-like qualities. Yeah. So. I'm going with it, aren't I? Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's so you're very loyal. <laughs> yeah. So Gus is six, and uh, he's been a therapy dog since he was one. And you can't be a therapy dog until you're at least one. So he went through all the training and everything and got a certification. What's the training like to go through for a, tr- for a dog? So the, the first thing is he has to have basic training, he or she. Um, and so they have to be able to sit, lay down, stay, come when called, uh, heel on your left side. I don't know why it's the left side, but it's the left side. And um, ignore food. And that's mm. a big one because yeah. uh, Gus does hospital work. And so if you have a patient and they just get served breakfast or lunch and he has to ignore the food. Right. So that's a tough one that's yeah. a tough for one. the dogs. But uh Especially if there's bacon on the plate, oh, right? Well, when there's bacon, <laughs> Gus will look at the bacon, he'll look at me, and I'll go, no. And he'll be like, oh, yeah. Darn. He's just crushed, crushed when he can't have the bacon. And you are uh, t- you take the dog to the fire station. T- talk about where, the, where yeah, Gus we, goes. We just started this week at Fire Station 31. And we go in after their morning meeting, and uh, the, the firemen, firewomen, the paramedics just play with Gus and just stress and where's 31 i know we're 32 31's is. across from junkanoo okay yeah. right in the middle of the great do you real close, any uh, close nursing home. homes no but um we are getting back into hospital work so gus will be going to galisano and the health park beginning mid-june nice. and we're excited to finally get back into hospital work because of stupid COVID. Yes. Yeah. So, and do you, yeah. does he see kids and adults, or yes. does he have a specialty? Okay. Nope. He loves. So he's a general practitioner. He is a general right. practitioner. Right. He's a general therapist. Yeah. <laughs> he's a generalist. Yes. And then at the library, um, he comes to story time, and so he hangs out with the kids. And then every the, Wednesday at ten thirty. Every and Wednesday. Yep. And then one on one, you can have with Gus. Uh, yeah. So oh. the kids can practice their reading with Gus. So what they is, can practice their oral reading and um, sign up um, every second Tuesday of the month from 2.30 to 3.30. So you just call the library or stop in and sign up for a 15-minute session with Gus. So and it's so they free. read to him? Mm-hmm. Yep. And, and he and, just and we even takes tell it kids, all in. We even tell kids that can't read yeah. that just yeah. get a book. Yeah. And open up the book yeah. and tell a story, your own yeah. story about the pictures that are in the book. Yeah. Yes. He loves that. He does. Yep. Loves that everything. Is a great, great thing for the little kids, and they'll just come up with all sorts of stuff. Kids say. every, there are kids everywhere today. I know. There are. <laughs> so, uh, can I talk about one other? Program no, that we're afraid not, with? Kathy. <laughs> I mean, why are you asking? Please. Of course, you can talk about whatever you want. <laughs> That's is, not at all what you're here for, no. right? <laughs> this is a nationwide program okay. um, that all libraries participate in. It's called the Collaborative Summer Library Program, and each year they have a different theme. This year's theme is called Oceans of Possibilities. So my story time, starting in the summer for those nine weeks, will all will be about sea creatures, things that live in the ocean or here in the Gulf. So I got a question for you. How fast do you think a oh, sea turtle can swim? Like when those mambos get out there and head to Key West, how fast? I'm not sure how. 90 miles an hour. Whoa. Bet you didn't know that. Well, how no, do you think they escape? No, because they're pretty big. Because um, I hear that they take their time coming up on the sand. Right. But well, when yeah, they're out there, they're, for them. Them. Yeah. they're swimming away from the sharks. They're swimming away from the pervert mm-hmm. male turtles that want some action. They're right. swimming away from. <laughs> and, and one of my story times is turtle, turtle, watch out. And it's it about. It doesn't rhyme, though. It's about. I know. But it's, it, <laughs> it's the okay. kids love to say. 
screen. Turtle, turtle watch out. It should when, be more when like when we talk about the different things that can harm a sea turtle. Right. And hmm. one of the things in the water is plastic Get bags. Close, cause, plastic yeah. bags. It should be more like turtle, turtle, who stole my girdle? Something like that. I mean, you got to make it catchy. You got to have a line to it, right? You say that all the time. Where's my girdle? Yeah. At home. Mm -hmm. I didn't write the book. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, to the the we'll have to talk to the author. So the whole about summer that. is going to be all different sea animals. Right. And fascinating facts about them. Give us another. Um, um, give us another, another fascinating fact. A uh, fascinating fact about sea turtles is the beach that they hatch from is the beach that they come back to if they are a female to lay their eggs. There you, read, you go. You kind of read that like in your reading voice. I could tell you were in the... Mm -hmm. Well, were... I can tell you I have learned a lot by yeah. reading children's books. Really? I bet. <laughs> are you watching, speaking of acting, are you watching the Johnny uh... Depp uh, Amber Heard trial? I'm so addicted uh, seen, to it. I've seen pieces I, of I can't it. stop watching it. I got no work done I've last seen week. I've zero of it's, it. It's really amazing that people that live those kinds of lives. So, you know, That's why you can't do the math. Because because you're spending your time watching that, and Could it's be. dumbing you down. I don't know, dear. I think it's <laughs> uh, it's like watching a movie. It's like it's not wa like watching a movie. There, do you think they're going to get acting roles after going well, through all this? Man, are. I know you're addicted to it. I know. I'm not. You, I'm not. I hear a lot about it. Uh -huh. though. What is the latest that you've heard? <laughs> um, everybody just says she's nuts. So, yeah. So you know Monica Schmucker. Yes, yeah. I do. She's, she's an, an attorney. attorney. Yeah. Yeah. She's. All about how crazy Amber is. Yeah, and I agree. Hi, Monica. I think they're both crazy, though. I think yeah. that they deserve each other. And we were talking <laughs> about the trial. I was talking. She was trying to ignore me in her little dinky car when our, our my battery died this morning at 630. Oh. And uh, I just think that the jury is going to go back there for a couple hours and laugh and say, you get one dollar. I mean, <laughs> yeah. one suing one for 50, one suing one for 100. Like, you right. need that. You're all going to be in a movie. Yeah. Did you see Aquaman? No, I have not. I, I haven't yeah. seen. Uh, have you no. seen Aquaman? No. Yeah. I want to go see Top Gun, though, this weekend. Oh, come on. Everybody's the... talking about that. Everyone I know. That's your that's your favorite that's my guy favorite there. Movie. He's like it's 100 a years thing, old now. Right? <laughs> Isn't he like he's like 100 years old now? No, he's does like he our age. still looks pretty decent. Oh, does he? Yeah. He looks, he's I don't look age. at guys. Sorry. Is he still in shape, or does he? Hopefully, he has a gut on him by now. Does he I have doubt a? That. Did you, does yeah, he? Did he have it. a shirt off in the movie? I'd I probably, think so. I probably. I think I could probably do more push-ups than him. What probably. do you think? Yeah. Thanks, Nan. You, that's Trying to gain one yourself. nice thing I'm gonna say yeah. today. Yeah. About the push-ups, right? I see your son is here, Nan. <laughs> yeah. How old is your son? Son Jordan is 26. 26. Wow. He looks like and he, he could do some push-ups. Yeah. 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 Oh, he works out. He's yeah. Big How much does he weigh? Not enough. Hey, Josh. Jordan. 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 Jordan, come here. Yeah. I, I need you to sit here for a second. Yep. Here we go. Yep. She uh your mom says you're a bodybuilder. Uh no, I just I just work out. I so pick up stuff seat. and put it back down. Yeah. How uh how much do you weigh? Uh right now I'm probably a buck fifty five. One fifty five. What are you six two? Six foot. Six foot one fifty five. He's skinny. He's probably got like two percent body fat on you. Right? Lift up your shirt. So somewhere around there. Yeah. Oh, he's got zero oh, percent body fat. Back. How many push-ups can you do in one minute? Oh, I just hit back. So probably like four, maybe five. What do you mean for the for our geriatric audience? You said you just hit back, so that means you worked out. I know the lingo. Yeah. You, so I just, I just worked out back. Probably probably not a ton. I'm right not talking now. about right now. I'm talking about if you were all fresh. Well, maybe like 30 or 40. Probably like That's it? One every second. No, second but and at half. least. Well, his... one every second is more than 40, man. Don't you know your math? I mean, come on. One every please. second and a half is 45. Yeah. All right. So 45 is your max that you can do in one minute. I don't know. I've never tried. You've never tried? No, I have not. Oh. Well, videotape how many you can do. Okay. You What's know, your one rep max for chest? Oh. Uh, Probably 205, 215. Nice. Right. Yeah. Nice. That's not very much. Oh, you can please. do more than that. You put two plates He's on, right? You can do hey, 225. You know, hey, you know, when you can bench 225, Dude, you weigh 225. How much? You know, what, what kind of carb oh, loading you doing over there? I think he just said you weigh 225. Oh, no, no, he didn't say that. No. What do you think I weigh? Take a guess. I'm 5'9. Where did my Uh, no. 
185. Oh, man. It's all solid steel and sex it's, appeal, yeah, dude, baby. It's hidden muscle, bro. Thank you. Thank muscle weighs all right. Uh, right. Muscle weighs more, muscle weighs more <laughs> than fat. We'll see. You yeah. just made up for all your mom's insults from the yeah, last half hour because she out. really. Thank you, Jordan. Hey, it was a pleasure. Have Thank a nice you. day. I, I'm you. guessing he doesn't know, but I'm guessing he could probably do close to 100. I'm guessing. He's got no body fat on him, right. I know, but I like that he made a reasonable, you know, um, I don't think he knows because he's never done it before. But yeah. anyway, enough but, about and the kids, I have a Kathy. feeling that yes. he spends more time in the yeah. gym than he does at the library. Um, what do you think? Maybe he's reading while he's lifting. Maybe. Maybe he's doing audio books. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's doing audio books. I love to read. I don't know why. It just it hasn't made and, me any smarter, according to my right, wife. But right. that's why we want kids to read during yeah. the yeah. summer, Reading. just for the pleasure of yeah. it. And can I talk about the one last program Absolutely. that we have going on yeah. at the library? No, Kathy, yes. you cannot. It's the nationwide <laughs> program. And this one has some um, big prizes from oh. um, wonderful donations from our community. Uh, Chuck E. Cheese um, has donated some gift cards and passes, as well as Sky Zone, um, Dave and & Buster's, and cool. Fast Track. So we're asking kids to pick up a log sheet, fill out all the books on the log sheet that they read throughout mm -hmm. the summer, and turn them in to be eligible for some of those wonderful prizes. And they turn them into the library? To the library, okay. yeah. And they pick them up at the library. So they just have um, to log them in. Yep. And is there any like criteria criteria for well, the level what, of reading or the yep. content? What or? we're asking for is the date that you finish the book, the title, the title and the, and the level. level of the book. Got it. Um, because we are looking at your name on the front and what grade you are in. Got and it. then we need a contact information for distribution of the prizes at the end of the summer. And that runs also June 6th through August 5th. Kathy, That's all correct. this kids, uh, the kids programming that you have, it's not just for kids on that live on the beach, right? Any, any right. kid can come. And that's why um, we're participating in the nationwide program, because I have a little boy at um, the school, uh, the elementary school uh, behind the library, and he says, well, I can't come into the library and check out books because I'm spending the summer with my dad in Colorado. But he certainly can participate. And I've given Just him um, yeah. one of these logs to keep track of the books that he's going to be reading in Colorado when he comes back to come to school. He, he turns can pop this it in. in and he'll be eligible for those prizes. Do you know when the book sales start up again? Um, they will start up, I believe, in November. November, and that's when everyone can come down to the library parking the garage, garage mm -hmm. and then and get a bag full of books, books for, for five, like five bucks. dollars. That's a deal. Yeah, that I mean, is a deal. And you can save up and read them when you have some of these great programs going yeah. on. Yeah. So. Well, Kathy, do you have a lot of audio books at the library? We do. We okay. have a lot of audio books. She doesn't, books. She, she doesn't I, like reading, to read. The reading, it's just my eyes. But you know what? That, but I we love also, listening. in addition to the audio books, we have the large print books. Oh, maybe that would help so, me. So um, people, help. as they get older, their eyes aren't yeah. as good as they used to be. And so reading yeah. the large print is easier than it's, the For me, it's print. staying on the on the, the line. line. Yeah, yeah, I skip a well, line and then I bookmark lose. mark to put yep. underneath. There yep. you go. We have plenty of highlighted book. pages. And we have a lot of bookmarks that the you library can pick up. Thank you for giving my One wife a therapy a session. of me and Clifford the dog. No oh, way. Dog. I would wow. love to get my picture. Clifford the dog came in that. costume one year for my story time. It was wonderful. You know what? Next time you do them, get a picture of Gus and you. Yes. That I think, would be great. Yep, I think Nan he's has loving some, that yeah. idea. Oh, he's he's a wonderful. He is so little sweet. Little addition to our library. He is so. so sweet. Well, Kathy, thank you so much for coming on. All thank right, you for everything for you do at the me. library. Yep. And whatever you guys need uh, to get the word out, let us know. All right. Thank All you All right, so everybody. Much. Big All hand right. for Kathy from the library. She's awesome. The folks at the library are awesome. And uh, you got a free therapy session, dear. And, uh, you know, I didn't want to say this in front of uh, Kathy or anything, but, you know, you don't really read, not because you don't like to read. It's because you're too busy watching Viking things on Netflix, <laughs> for crying out loud. So, anyway, I'm going to read everybody about uh, this is your segue, dear. Uh, you thank the guests and okay. you get ready for your ad. And you don't just sit there with your smiley, pretty face and all that. If you're tired of wasting money on gas sitting in traffic on Fort Myers Beach, 
it's time for you to say, I want a golf cart. I want an Island FMB golf cart because I know they're clean. I know they have spectacular Wi-Fi. And I know they have batteries that are going to last a lifetime. They're going to last maybe not a lifetime, just short. But they have these really expensive batteries because they don't want you to get stuck out somewhere on a sterile boulevard in traffic. They know the battery will last. They know it'll last in the heat. They know it'll last in the traffic. And they want to get you from wherever you're staying to wherever you're going and get there in uh, in a decent amount of time because... They're brand new golf carts, and they're the nicest golf carts on Fort Myers Beach. Island Carts FMB, you can call them 844-FMB-CART. Pretty catchy. 844-FMB-CART. And for those of you that don't have uh, letters on your phone for some reason, that's 844-362-2278. Or you can just go online, get on the Facebook, and uh, put in the search box. Island Carts FMB, you'll see their nice little logo. And by the way, if you have our app on your phone, the Beach Talk Radio app, and you press play at the bottom of the app, it's 24 hours of nothing but great beach music, and it's all powered by our friends at Island Carts FMB. It's not just Jimmy Buffett music. It's summer music. It's fun music. It's no commercials, nothing but music. So you're going to sit your ass out on the beach, This holiday weekend, and you don't want to listen to 10, 12 minutes of commercials, put on our app, stick your phone under your booty, and listen to the music in your earbuds. Great music. You could suggest songs, too, because I'm the program director of our music station. Make a suggestion, we'll add the song, as long as it fits into the fun, happy beach music. And I also want to tell you, as the wife is moving around the the beach time out, making uh, friendly uh, gestures to all the guests about the beach pottery because you know where the beach pottery is. It's located at 17980 San Carlos Boulevard, which is right on the right-hand side. As you come down, make your way toward the beach. Maybe you get stuck in that holiday traffic because you're in your car and you're not in a street legal uh, golf cart. I'm reading the ad and you put your phone right on the text. And they have pots, people. Pots, pots, and more pots. A lot are from Vietnam, a lot are from uh, Mexico, and a lot are carved right out in the back there by their podologist. I just made that word up, podologist. And um, you can have, like, my wife likes to have my my face recreated in art, in, in wooden art. So they'll carve it out and make, no? No. Maybe in cement. You, uh, How long would that take if you had your face face down in cement? How long would it take <laughs> to like harden and then you could pull your face out? Yeah, how, very how funny. How long can you hold your breath? If I, you I know, guess that's the question. At least I, <laughs> at least I have a thick skin. I could take it. Some people can't. But enough about us, dear. Beach Pottery is located at uh, seventeen nine eighty San Carlos Boulevard. And you can call them at 437-4211 and say, I want to carve out my husband's face somehow. You know, I was on the Facebook before uh, we get to our next lovely guest. It looks like Paula Kiker got engaged in Key West really? last night. Really? Well, congratulations. Yeah, I saw, I saw her lip lock with some dude, and she had something. I mean, that's the way it looked to me. She was showing off a ring. and Well, congratulations. Yeah. So congratulations, Paula, if you got engaged. If you didn't get engaged, congratulations anyway. Something's going on in Key West. <laughs> Something always fun is going on down yeah. there. That's yeah. right. I mean... Lauren Swain is here with us. Did he pronounce that correctly? Yes. Okay. How hard is it to pronounce? It's not, that wasn't a hard (laughs) name. And Lauren, what is the name of your business that you own? Um, So I run Southwest Florida Party Pontoon. Nice. Do boat charters um, at a getaway marina. You're a captain. Mm -hmm. You're a captain. Monica just said you're a captain. Oh, yeah. Hi, Monica. (laughs) Yeah. Monica's the dolphin lady. Yes. Yes. They know each other very well. You don't need to correct me. So what do you have to do to become a captain? A um, lot of hours on a boat. Okay. You got to record them and log them. And um, there's a test that you got to take. Um, and then all the stuff that comes with it, like a medical um, drug test. And you got to be like probably CPR certified mm-hmm. and all of that stuff. You also have to be able to like know directions, right? <laughs> yeah. You have to have your basic boat knowledge out on the water. Um, 
Did you say kind of where to go? Did you say yeah, water? I heard I'm a from little Jersey. bit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Litter. Jersey. That sounded like my uncle. There's Litter. my Jersey accent yeah. coming back out. <laughs> and you have to know like what side of the um, water to be on, like who's got the right of way and all of that yep. business, right? Yeah. Which and way the wind's blowing, that yeah. kind of stuff. And um, like for locals, there's always the power squadron that can teach that stuff. But a lot of it, you just learn as What's you're doing the power it as well. Squadron? Um, Cape Coral does one. I don't know huh. if they do one here, but it basically teaches you. It's like a boat safety course, but in person. Nice. So you uh, rent out the pond. Explain how your business works. People call you, take them out on a tour. What's that all about? Yeah. So I do uh, multi-hour charters. So I do usually like daytime stuff for maybe six hours. And we do um, sightseeing. Mm -hmm. I went to school for marine biology, so I love talking about the nature down here. Um, dolphins, manatees, kind of point out some of those big houses and all the restaurants along the way and make a beach stop. And I was a math sharks. major. I was a math major. Saw one the other day. College. Did you? Yeah. Oh, how close was it to the shoreline? Um, it was in the back bay. Uh, in the back bay. Yeah, well, that's not where I'm swimming. I see. <laughs> so how many people do you fit on one of your vessels? It's a six pack. So six customers and me as the captain. Um, and yeah. So you're going out looking for specific things or just touring the whole area and the mangroves? Kind of a little bit and, of both. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll do very ecological type of tours mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, depending on what the family or people want to do and then sometimes I just do straight kind of more booze cruises um, gotcha. I have beach games and floats that I'll toss off the boat so kind of just depends on who's on board and do people jump off the boat into the water when we anchor yeah oh. not usually... where the sharks are though that's all clear of that how do you know? Saw one the other day go by us. <laughs> now, do you have a depth yeah. finder with the little yeah. camera and everything? A depth hmm. finder, not a camera. No. That'd be what kind of though. shark was that it? That would be cool, I right? Think it was a little black tip. Black Eesh. tip, yeah. yeah. You should get a GoPro and put it down there. I know. That yeah. would be neat when it's nice out, see all the fish swimming around. Yeah. Well, and the shark. And the dolphins. Yeah. So, there, I don't know if you've been paying attention, but there's been a little bit of news going on, which really yeah. is why we have you here. Uh, with uh, the entrance to the big, big Hickory, big Hickory Pass. Island Pass, which is, it give people an south idea how far south it is. Like from Lover's Key, where, how far down yeah, is it? Yeah, so from Lover's Key, it's the next island down. So if you're down at Big Carlos Pass, kind of where Flippers is in that first little parking lot, it's about two, maybe three miles past that mm -hmm. um, by the time you get down to that next pass. Now, the first part of that area is a preserve, correct? Yeah, so you have Lover's Key State Park, and then On that next island mm -hmm. is a county-owned preserve. Um, one part of it is owned by the Hyatt Hotel. Right. Mm. And so yes. that's been owned for years. The Hyatt made a deal, I guess, when the island was bought back, I want to say, in the 60s. Look at you with the history. And wow. um, Yeah, I was looking all this up like a couple weeks ago. <laughs> oh, you, should, you should have never said that. You should have said, I knew it all along. Yeah. Who would know? Who would know? Um, so, yeah, it's kind of interesting, but no one was really under the impression that that very south end was owned separately. You just figured yeah, it was county it, owned. Yeah. yeah. It looks it looks connected. So, it is, does look. Tell us what this picture here is all about. We see where the area is that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Now, what happened was... A man by the name of David Shee bought the property uh, in that area, and he actually owns the bottom of the water. He owns what's on the underneath the water. Nobody owns the water. Well, so that's he owns he the property. Yes. And well, then I mean, I uh, knowing some situations here on Fort Myers Beach right. in the back bay, you, there are people that can buy the un, under the water submerged and then they water. right the submerged mm -hmm. water, and then they try and claim that what you put on top of the water. You can't do it because it's their property. So some lawsuits going on here on the beach. So kind of take us through what happened here. Yeah, so I guess it's about two weeks ago now is when this all came to light. So David Shi had created three businesses we found out as well. And mm -hmm. I'll say that because we'll get to why this is important. So he created the Bonita Conservation Authority, the Estero Conservation Authority, and Cape Romano Conservation Authority. Mm -hmm. These are all for profits. You can look them up on Sunbiz. Mm -hmm. For profits. Conservation Authority sounds like it shouldn't be a for profit. Though. Sure. So um, one day, the kayakers that launch all their kayaks in the businesses were starting to go down the little mangrove tunnel, and you can see it in that picture um, in the middle, right where it's kind of indented, indented in yeah. next to that left hand side. Right. And he put up a no trespassing sign 
a bright red one that said no trespassing as per um, I guess the Estero Conservation Authority. You made it sound like it was a some kind of yeah uh, official right something. governing right, legal right, right. right. So was the and sign wire. okay? Put wire so up. the so sign was through. there, and then okay, that's what I wanted. So, did, so there did was the wire that you just couldn't... cut through the wire because they're like, screw this, you can't do this. I don't know if they cut through. I believe that the wire is down now. Sure. But in the very beginning, everyone said, what is this? There's uh, He put trail cameras up right. to probably try and find people cutting the wire on his property that he now owns. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but the sign was not right off the road. It was down that mangrove tunnel, and someone could have seriously been hurt. Right. They weren't paying attention. Mm -hmm. So the, the property to get from the street to the water is county-owned property, correct? That's what we're assuming. There's um, there's I don't know how much the easement off the highway is. Okay. But there's a... Um, trash can that lee county owns right at that property so they're taking care of that area area mm -hmm. so the minute that you start to get into the mangrove area who owns that if you're floating nobody should own it and that's the whole because so, it's a navigable so but, so, so the land from where the county owns to as you start to at some point you got to step a little bit in the water yes. put your boat in who owns the water like in, if, if you're standing in it up to your ankles so that's always that hazy area. Um, he was trying, David, she was trying to say that he owns all that area. Nobody's allowed there. But apparently FWC came out and said, no, you do not own the navigable waterway. Okay. So with that being said, we have low tide. We have high tide. Right. So where do you draw that line at in that ankle deep water? Oh, so when it's low tide, is that, can you get through there on a kayak? You'd have to get out there a ways, depending how low it is. But so, but in the middle of the channel, you could do it? Yeah, I mean, that area back there is very, very shallow. Um, mm. At high tide, there's some areas where it's only two feet deep. So at low tide, it's all mud um, in some of that area. So, so. What, what, what do you, what have you, it's not easy to find his contact information. I know it, the newspaper and the TV stations have gotten comment from him that the reason he's doing this is because Somebody did die, not there, but somebody did yeah. die on a kayak. Was it on a kayak? That's what I believe. That's what his reason for it was. Right. Somebody died somewhere, uh, and he wants to work with people that have uh, licenses and insurance and the whole thing, and, which, which sounds reasonable. Do. Okay, they all do? All okay. the companies do. Okay, gotcha. So, um, But what about me? Like, if I just go down there by myself? Like, and, like I have my own kayak. Mm -hmm. I put in, even if I put in way up away and I just kayak down and go through there. And people do. We have a lot of individuals that drop their kayaks off there because it's a great easy spot to mm -hmm. to get in there. But So does that mean they're not allowed to because they don't have insurance and a license or? Right now everyone's allowed to go, but the fear is that he'll start charging companies and not allow the private individuals to go. Charging companies, what do you mean? To use the- That's like the fear a, a lot of the locals have. Cause he, I. I don't uh, remember the name of the company, but there was a couple rumors going around. I've heard a few times of one company that that was in discussion. Mm -hmm. So the uh, if the county owns the property that gets to the water and then the water is owned by everybody, how can he charge you for it? He can't, but I think that was his goal. I see. But all the news that came out, you think he might be backing off on that. Yeah. I mean, so uh, the what do you what do you? want people to do and what's what's your plan from here i mean you just you, fight it there is a protest um on sunday this sunday this i thought it was sunday. last week okay yes, there was this gotcha. past sunday there's a protest there and i think that's when everything started to get kind of corrected uh when fish and wildlife said you can't do that mm -hmm. um and he started to back off a little bit right and there was you guys were waiting for some ruling from the state right there was some there's so many state organizations that are involved in all these things were you waiting for a ruling from the state to say, okay, this is public. There's People nothing you can do. Okay. Yeah. I mean, why you know, stop? Right. Well, I mean, the other thing is who's going to, who's going to enforce that? Like, is he going to call the sheriff's, the sheriff's department? The sheriff's going to come over and say it's yeah. private. I mean, the sheriff's not going to do that. Right. Yeah. No. I mean, who's going to spend time out of their day to go down there and wait around all day? Yeah, so well, I guess but, if, if if it's on camera, then I don't know. I don't know how yeah, he that, had the trail cams. Yeah, but the, my point is, there's no. It doesn't sound like it's. You're but not, if you're in the water, possible. right? Well, 
you're, it's, there's clearly some gray area there that the sheriff is not going to waste his time trying to uh, figure out who's no. right and who's wrong when nobody's – you guys aren't harming the mangroves or anything, no, right? No, and You're kayakers just, are cleaning it up. Yeah. And he tied wire and a sign to it. Yeah. There should be some kind of so, violation right there, so – yeah, and in the in the photo of the property he owns, along with that mangrove tunnel, which he doesn't think anybody should be using, part of that main channel, the pass to get out to the golf, is also in that zone. Yeah. And so that's the other concern people have is, is he going to shut the boaters down? Do you have any idea how much he paid for that property, all those properties? I heard it was around 700000 but I'm not positive. Oh. Is there anything else that can be built in that area that, that people should be aware of? So the debate over whether or not you can rip out mangroves to build hmm. is something that's very starting to be very common down here is there's right. less space to build. The mangroves are the last place to do it. Yeah. And mangroves are protected. Um, well, we had as, somebody on a couple well, weeks ago. Yeah. She knows, yeah. Yeah. The CS Isles project. So I guess it's a percentage of what you own, mm -hmm. what you're allowed to take out to build. And this gentleman uh david she also owns a private island just south of st james city with a rental on it one and, rental um it's some airbnb rental but mm -hmm. he mark he markets it as sanibel island oh you see and it's on st james city right but um our fear is that he might try to do that in all these different areas that he might be wanting to buy based off the business names that he's incorporated mm -hmm. that's right. always a fear too is that i haven't been down in that area could you could you put a structure? I don't think so. But if he area. owns so many mangroves and so many are able to well, be. Wouldn't he have to build on? something in the water? Like on the water? He doesn't own the land. Yeah. He just owns what's underneath the water. Right? No. And no, the mangroves. He bought the, he bought the property, right? He yeah. The, a, the, an acreage of space down there, I believe. And so that's going to be the debate. But, you know, if, is there any land there? I, the it just green. looks like mangroves. There's eventually land in there, but it's not, sand, though, right? It's yeah, just it's sand. like yeah. a mix between mangroves, some trees or bushes and water. So so that maybe on that big spot, that might be an island there. I mean, I it would know. be kind of cool to have a little bungalow there. I mean, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Wouldn't you think it would be kind of cool? You can you kayak over can there. Can we just leave? Can maybe we a, just maybe leave a, some like area a little alone? rental place where everybody can go. Yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, I That's guess the why fear. didn't they? Why couldn't the why the whole thing wasn't originally yeah. as a preserve? Who did they buy it from, Lauren? I believe the Collier family. The Collier family was what I heard. Um, the Collier family owned that property, and. I'm shocked it's that the on, county you know, doesn't own it's that. Not, I, I was shocked too. I was yeah. shocked too. I know it's Collier. I looked it up and it's Collier something. I don't know, you know, what, but uh, you can go on all the websites, the property, you know, information sites and, and get that information. But so what's the plan here? What do we need to do? We need to I think everyone's just going to be keep watching, see right. what happens, see what he does with it. Um, but in the meantime, everyone's going to keep kayaking there, boating there, enjoying right. it. So okay. cleaning it. You're, now you're cleaning the wires are down. <laughs> as far as I know, yes, the is wires the are down. Is the sign still there? I think the sign's still Why there. Just spray paint over it with some red spray paint. Because there's What's trail cams, and then that's going to be spray paint the camera first. Just oh, I mean, stop. No. Do not encourage that kind <laughs> of behavior. I mean, come on, it's well. You don't want to. You don't want to pull up there and get on the property. You just want to boat yeah. through there. Yeah, yeah. you just want to enjoy see. it. You know. Right. And uh, there's a there's a Facebook page that is it Anne Anne uh, Marie or Anne do you know who I'm talking about that Beth uh, Beth, Beth, Beth Ann <laughs> yeah Beth Ann, Ann um, it's on my phone I can um, send you the name of it but yeah, she people puts should a lot watch of information that. in right. one of the Facebook groups but it's not a Fort Myers Beach one it's gonna be one of the ones down by Benita yeah okay. that's how we found out about it through her Facebook page and then yeah she sent over the the news story that. Uh, that you guys had so all right well whatever whatever we can do to help we want to save the mangroves and yeah keep these damn developers uh away from <laughs> well, the water i mean i love to kayak and you know that you want to be able to especially go into those that's the fun part is going in those mangrove tunnels and maybe getting out of the sun for a little bit and see the birds and the see the nature mm -hmm. yes untouched all right lauren thank you yeah. so much thank and you. uh thank good luck so with this and uh how do people get in touch with your business if they want to get yeah, out on a pontoon? Out. Let's go for a boat ride. What's yeah. the number and all that? Do you have um, a website and all that? Get yeah, it out. It's, uh, SWFL Party Pontoon, uh, dot com. Uh -huh. And if you search it, I'm on Facebook, Instagram. It's pretty easy yeah. to find. And um, I run out of Getaway Marina just off island. So, 
So you do you do the eco tours, but you yes. also do the party boat yes. thing. How do you deal with people if I mean that, it's not that bad. I mean it's not that bad. No, once in a blue moon, it really gets they're having too much fun. fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, but no, it's honestly everyone just having a good time and they get to sightsee a little bit while they're here. When you when has you, anyone fallen off intoxicated? No. Okay. When you see they're having too much fun and they're getting on your nerves, do you say you Rain know it in a little bit? You say that you know there's a shark right next to you. Scare <laughs> yes. the shit right out of them. Ah. That would be great. If people knew how many sharks we had out here, don't say it. Don't say it, go. Lauren. I don't think they'd go in the water. How many do you think there are? Like there's a lot. I yeah. mean, people that fish will tell you that they see them all the time because they catch them. Yeah. But I don't fish anymore. I just kind of cruise around the back bay and lately well, that's I see in the more. back bay yeah right not out there <laughs> but there's you, none out there i mean are you able to tell the difference between a shark and a dolphin yes okay well i can't buy the fin the door not she now i can she was frightened to <laughs> I no was, end once she I thought was, she was swimming with a shark no no no. i was, was on the dolphin. beach I was on the <laughs> she was yelling for everybody there's a shark there's a shark i did not i did not Some ring any alarm bell said, it's a dolphin no. dummy honestly dolphins are probably just as fast and powerful as a shark yeah, so. yeah. you know they hit them with their nose to get them yeah. away from them it's like 500 pounds yeah. coming right at you it's crazy yeah all right, Lauren. Well, thank you, you so guys much. Are and, uh, me out about we'd like to get uh, get on the boat one day and do a yeah. little uh, show over there, just to yeah. see all the cool stuff back there. We need to do a video. The water is so pretty down yeah. that way too. It's it's so clear. So it's see you guys. Bye, guys. All right. Thanks, Lauren. Have a great Definitely one, and appreciate area. you coming on, Lauren Swain. Yeah, everybody, thank you guys. so much. Check out our business when you can. I thought I saw Kieran here, dear. I think he wanted to come on. I think he left. Oh, he had his dog. Uh, he had one of those racing He's dogs. He's got one of those racing yeah. rescue. Um, Get over there and read your ad, dear. I'm killing time for uh, you. All right. Uh, we are going to wrap things up unless Karen, Karen wanted to come on and uh, talk about the election. But you need to tell everybody about our friends at uh, Fort Myers Tiki Tours. We're going to need to get a wireless mic for you. I told you it was on the chair over there. Hit the music for you. All right, it's time now to send it over to my trusty sidekick for her one and only job, and that's to read about the Fort Myers Tiki Tours. Oops, wrong camera. Okay, dear. go ahead. You're good though. Your mic All is right, hot. Your folks, mic is hot. Fort Myers Tiki Tours. You know them. We talk about them every week. Why are you kneeling? You can stand up. No, because the camera's so low and it's a bad angle the other way. So Fort Myers Tiki Tours. <laughs> Take a relaxing 90-minute tour around the Fort Myers Bay Intercoastal, or the bay, which apparently now we know has lots of sharks in it. Sit back on a Hawaiian-style tiki hut and just cruise around at a very slow speed with you and five of your friends. Bring whatever you would like to drink and eat. Bring your music. They provide the captain and the uh, cooler. And people will be so ecstatic to see you out there. They'll take your picture just like you're a Hollywood movie star on this cute tiki boat. Like, who wouldn't want their picture taken on that? So you can reach them by a traditional phone or your cell phone at 239-887-0042 or fortmyerstikitours.com. Give them a call and tell them we sent you. <laughs> what a great job you did there. Very nice. And don't forget, folks, the Farmer's Market at the Beach Baptist has one more day to go. Uh, they're wrapping things up on Tuesday. So get on down to the Beach Baptist parking lot uh, where Holy you can. Uh, what? It's it's early. Yeah. Yeah. I Look like to you. keep the show to an hour, dear. And uh, we Whoops. need to let everybody know that it's at 9003 Gulf Coast. Oh, no, not 9003 <laughs> Gulf Coast. That's where the Gulf Coast uh, Main Street one is down there. Uh, anyway, it's Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. where uh, you don't this need to do any a good fancy, show for you. fancy math or anything like that. You know, they have everything from the muffins to the Cuban Cubanas to uh, jewelry and cheese. cheese. Oh, yes. All kinds Shoes, of cheese. I forgot about the cheese. The, the Turkish cloth, the, yeah. the towels and everything. Special towels. All, all the fish. Fish. The, the guys there from the market, from the he's got seafood all stored up. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And then we'll be, they'll be back in October. So enjoy uh, the final farmer's market on Tuesday and make sure you tell Linda that uh, we sent you over there. 25% of the way. One final thing to tell you about is going on today at the Shamrock which is down on the other mm -hmm. end of uh, of this kind of 
road here, Estero, before you make the it's turn. It's just a little bit down well, before the you make the turn, it's on the left-hand side is the fundraiser for uh, baby Sophia. Yeah. Her family, uh, they're having a fundraiser. They have a dunk tank and all of that going on to raise money for the medical bills for uh, the family. Uh, the baby passed away from cancer. I think she was six years old. We had uh, friends of, of the family on they came on a couple they came of times. on to talk yep. about it. They were going to have a big fundraiser, and then COVID hit, and the dad works at uh, Diamond Head. Uh, so uh, I thought he was coming on. He wanted to talk about the election. So that, I think, starts at like 11 or 11.30 down at the Shamrock. And even I if think, you, even I think if he you, does want to come on because he's got his shirt on. <laughs> he's got his 1984 shirt on. Did you want to come on? Yeah. Yeah, he wants to come on. Karen. Yeah. Aaron Farrell is a uh, is a friend of the family here, and he's got his um, trusty sidekick. Yeah, for some reason, the name of the the type of the dog is is a greyhound. A greyhound, yeah. Greyhounded. Is it a greyhound rescue? Of course, aren't they he's all? He's retired. Yeah, yeah. Retired. he's retired. I'm the rescue from there the Fort Myers racetrack. Is that uh, actually he used to race in Hollywood, Florida, as I understand it. Yeah. So, have Margarita they, track or something. Oh, Mardi Gras track. That's have what they done away with all of the racing yet? I know that was the plan. Um, I think there's only Iowa and West Virginia. Oh, no, I know Arkansas and West Virginia left. That's so the, the, do the dogs are trained to run after a, ra a fake rabbit, right? I mean, that's what it was when it's they were a, doing yeah, the races. Yeah, a lure. Yeah. So they all they do is run, run, run. So when you oh, rescue a dog like this, mm -hmm. do you have to it, be a runner? Does it constantly <laughs> want to run? And no. like, no. <laughs> I mean, how do you look at me? What do you think? Well, no, I'm asking you a serious <laughs> yeah. question. Stop Captain trying, Obvious, thank stop you. Stop trying to be funny. So, <laughs> don't be jealous. It's so, okay. I mean, do you have to untrain the dog from running all the time? No, no, no he is lazy by nature. I mean, this is this is my kindred breed. I see. In I my see. next They're life, so, I want to come back as a greyhound. The dogs are so cool looking. They I mean, are. Yeah, they really cool are looking. so pretty. And he's so, lazy. The what? only breed lazier than a greyhound is a Great Dane. Is that right? Go. Verifiable. Is that, is that Absolutely. scientifically proven somehow? This, this dog will lay down inside of about 30 seconds. We only walk down to Crescent Park and back. And that's it. He'll be, he's done. Same way as a bulldog. He's done. Same thing. Yeah, I think bulldogs. There, there you go. Right in the way there. Done. So, See ya. Um, the, oh, she's <laughs> laid right out. She's oh, laid yeah, right he's, out. Yeah. He. He, sorry. Sarah and Angela and everybody, they're going to. Don't step on him. He just you know, does that. I don't know why they didn't ask me to be in the dunk tank at uh, the Shamrock today. They're, they're raising money. <laughs> where, where do we begin? I know, right? The, the line would have been, the line the been down the street. It'd be down to the library. So uh, I understand you probably have a thick skin, right? Uh, absolutely. I wanted to ask you what your thoughts were on the upcoming election, uh, local election. Uh, in anything specific or yeah, just in a general you, sort gonna, of way? Well, who are you going to vote for? I don't have a vote. I don't live on the island. If you so did I'm not have a, resident. a vote, who would you vote for? I don't know. I mean, nobody has actually really brought up anything. Not enough time. Yeah, there's, I mean, the information that they put not out enough. so far is nominal at best. I, you know, it, it's, I don't know any of them. The only one I really know well enough is Karen. Right. Right. And then after that is probably Ray. Right. I, I don't, feeling, I don't, I just don't know Patrick or John. I just I don't. have a feeling Karen is going to get more votes than anybody. I think that she's done a lot and she has name recognition and absolutely people like her and all those things help she she is an absolute sweetheart and her heart is on this island yeah and, and uh, she I'm loves afraid it. your buddy's gonna get uh, the thing that the thing that they pulled off at the <laughs> it's hard at, to miss him <laughs> at, at uh can, I'm, I'm talking here the thing that they pulled <laughs> off at uh what keeps you from hitting over the head with that close. thing it's that lover's be key to be used as weapons it's i really believe you know? be hard to the talk lover's with key event lip. i'm trying to be serious for once right. the lover's key event were you invited to that were you there i was there yeah it was, was there. an unbelievable event it was I mean, fantastic. and she she and her team put that all together they yeah. knocked it out of the park yeah, yeah it was I mean, crazy first time good. that's right that was awesome it was, it was a lot of fun somebody in a board meeting said you need to get a bunch of people from the island together and get them drunk because they'll spend a lot of money on whatever you have to auction off. I think that pretty much goes anywhere on the island, frankly. I yeah, mean, I good point. Take good a look point. down at the Shamrock this afternoon. I think there's going to be a lot of fun to be had down yeah. there. Yeah. Right. For a good should, cause, too. Uh, yeah. So and Probably uh, shouldn't be texting reporters when you might have had. Uh, uh, yeah, I know you were going to touch on that a little bit, and you're just kind of baiting Did you see? The what, what is your thought on I that? I did. I, you know, I, I think everybody gets enraged over something or other but in this age of texting and email whenever i you know whenever i get angry about something i will type something up and 
drop some F-bombs and all sorts of profanity. And then right before I hit the send button, you erase it. I save it to draft. I see. Ah. That's a good idea. I mean, if yeah. I had, if I got that text, it'd be like, you know, rah, 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 and then all of a sudden go, eh, send. <laughs> I'll hold off a little while, especially right, with right. my history of posting everything. It's Jeez not like a, it's like of a serial poster or it's something. It's not a confessional. I mean, there's no, <laughs> there's no expectation of privacy like whatsoever with you. Would you like a shirt, by the way? I probably no, can get you no a, a, a large. No expectation of privacy so with him. Is there a bullseye anything? in the back of that thing? Yes, there's a bullseye sure. right on the back of that. For thing. sure. No thanks. Oh, uh, so uh, what else is going on in your life? I'm, I mean, I'm very concerned about your weight. You're getting up there. You're, you're. Wow. I mean, seriously, it's unhealthy. Say goodnight, everybody. It's really unhealthy. Look at you sitting here sweating. And, and the fan, time. The fan's blowing right on your head there, and you're there you sweating. I really like the shirt. I mean, seriously. I know that you want to come I on wear when you wear this shirt. I wear this shirt just for you guys. You wear that you shirt. It. I mean, how old is that shirt? This shirt is pushing Eight. four years old Lift now. your don't, arms up. Does it have uh, holes in the armpits? Um, you know, no. How do you keep that shirt alive? I mean, it doesn't look like it's too do damaged or anything. I hand wash it very carefully in nice, cool water. Rinse it thoroughly in very fresh water and line dry. Days, right? The good absolutely. old days. Yeah. Absolutely. Does so, anyone have a clothesline anymore? Um, actually, yeah, I do. I hang one. I got one in my bathroom. I there you kinda, go. Yeah, when I hang yeah they have them in hotels sometimes. You can string it across Sorry, and kind of set it up. <laughs> All right, Karen. Tap is, dance uh, around the dog. Uh, did you brand it? We anything? closed up yet? No, you no. Still, we're, you're people just are loving the, you. People are loving you. It's such a shame you. when you run out of material, you get desperate enough to call me on We here. saw That's, you walk. Well, we kind of knew you were coming over. so low right now. You can barely stand it. Yeah. Um, so it's summertime here and things slow down a little bit. Have you Immensely, noticed? Yeah. Have you noticed it? Oh, yes. Compared right away. To, I mean, the traffic is yeah, it dropped way off. down. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Way down. It's maybe uh, you should get a bike too. It'll help with your weight. You uh, work off some of that. Uh, what are you weighing now? Seriously. Come on. I, I, I can help I you. I can with understand that. why you guys have trouble getting I, guests on the show. I don't <laughs> do, do we? I, do we? I don't know. Yeah. Did you I'm see still our kind of wondering why I walked up? Well, <laughs> Some yeah. math. What is that and saying about you? I don't need this. I can go home and get this. You know, I can get this kind of abuse at home. You want me to get something to wipe your brow so you Jeez. don't have a heart attack out of the show here? Yeah. Get no, I'm way. kidding. You know we love you. We're not joking with you. I like you know, being he's on all here. upset because Nan, I, you know what I said to Nan, Nan was after cutting the me show? Deep. No, I, I, get, said, I feel like I have to get back at her through you. I nope. mean, she was insulting me. When left I go on before. vacation, I'm going to have her sit in because she will she was, keep oh, you She'll be a great co-host. Oh, I can't wait for that. Your viewership will go up by at least... Nine. People. We'll have yeah. We'll have yeah. eleven then. Yeah, you'll be up to like twelve. All right, everybody. Enough so, about yeah. this show. We'll be back uh, next Saturday. You will? With is that a promise <laughs> or a threat? No, I, we might not be. That's back. a threat. Still so, able to shovel this dreck over the air. All right. Well, it's dredge. It's dredge, <laughs> not dreck. Dredge is when you pull up off the bottom of the. It's a silt you pull off the bottom of the water. Yes, we call oh, this dredge Sylvania Pete's time. I, now. Saw, We're I saw the caption. The yes, that was clever. We'll be back. I'll let you guys go chat, and you can. uh Show, uh, show, uh, Kieran the exit he needs to be shown next uh, Saturday. We'll be back at nine o'clock with more videos from the beach. If you didn't have a chance to check out the video of Margaritaville, we gave you a nice little update. And at the end of that video, I caught Kim sprinting down the beach. You got to check it out, it's hilarious. And of course, subscribe to our newsletter, which comes out every two only one newsletter next week because of the holiday week. So next week, there'll be one newsletter on Friday. Uh, so don't be alarmed. You're not missing anything. Uh, and you can also download our app. It's on uh, Android and uh, the other guy, whatever the other one is. You get them on both phones, and you press play at the bottom, and it's 24 hours of no interruptions, nothing but music, and it's all courtesy of Island Cards FMB. So thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great holiday weekend. Thank you to all of our families of veterans and everybody that served our great country. See ya. Bye-bye.